wrestling fans, the Arm Dragon Sensation, second generation superstar LT Fog here, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. And if you want some real fucking advice, keep it realistic. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Today I'm at a tiny creek. Let's see if we can catch anything. So I came from that way. I've worked my way down the creek. We're gonna try right over here. There's a little deep hole. Maybe there's a trout. Maybe there's a shiner. Let's see if we can catch anything at the creek today. We're going with red worms. Looks like I have maybe two or three left. I've been fishing with these for a long time now. I think I saw some little shiners or something jumping over there. That's exactly what I'm looking for. There, that's what I'm using. I don't know if I'll be able to cast it, but we're going to find out right now. I'm going to cast it weightless because there's hardly any current. There's hardly any water here today. Fish. Shiner. All right. First fish of the day right here. Yeah, here he is. We got about a five inch shiner. Got him on the live red worm. Good looking fish. Let's let him go. Let's see if we can do it again. This winter creek fishing can be fun as long as you can find some fish. I'm casting out there maybe five or six feet. Fish. There we go. Another little shiner. Good looking fish. Come on, pop off of there. There we go. Squirmy little fish. Let's see if we can get a look at them. Yeah, these are squirmy guys. About the same size as that last one yeah we got about a four and a half four and a half inch shiner hi i'm alex from brazil you're watching realistic fishing keep it realistic you know some people would say why do you even bother coming out and fishing for such a small fish and the answer is pretty simple when you love fishing, you're going to try and catch whatever fish is in there. That's what happens to be here, so that's what I'm after. I'm not out here to try and catch the biggest fish to show off to you guys so I can feel better about myself. I'm out here to go fishing so I can feel better. And there is a difference there. All right, let's see if we can get another one. Ooh, had a bite. <gasps> Dang it, I had a bite, missed him. There we go, flung into the trees behind me, but I still got the bait. Let's keep going. Oh, I had a little bite there, missed him. Okay. 
There we go. That's a nice one. Yeah, nice size shiner here. Biggest fish today so far. Easy. All right, here he is. Look at that mouth. Got about a six inch shiner here. Whoa, whoa. He wants to go. He makes a funny noise, like. Yeah, six incher here. Good size shiner. Let's let him go. Yeah, that was a good one. Let's keep going. I'm just slowly letting my worm drift down the creek. I don't have any weights on there. It's just a worm on a hook. All right, so not bad. What did we get? Three or four shiners out of this hole? Actually, I'm going to walk around the tree and fish it from a different angle. Maybe we can get one or two more out of there. Hey, guys, this is Jacob from the Chaos Paddlers. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Oh, I had a bite and missed them. All right, we're going to walk even further this way, and we're going to attack the hole. <laughs> attack the hole from right here. Since I know where they are, I might even put on a split shot so that it does sit on the bottom in the shiner hole. That might actually help them find it. Yeah, we're going to put on a split shot so it can just kind of sit here in the strike zone. Yeah, that's it right there. Not a very big one at all. We're going with a tiny little split shot here. Fish on. Ooh, that's a nice one. Another big shiner. That's not a shiner, that's a creek chub. I can tell because his head is bumpy. Well, it's not a creek chub either. This is a very specific kind of fish. I caught one in a video about a year ago and I did a little bit of trivia. Name this fish. Someone in the comments below can name this fish. Maybe we'll even do a giveaway if you get the name correct. What kind of... Yeah, what kind of fish is this? Look at his downturned mouth, his spiny head. I caught him in a creek. Name the fish in the comments below. Hello, this is John in the UK. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. That is cool. I was not expecting to catch one of those. Let's keep going. I got a few more minutes to pick apart this pool. I'm having a good time. I'm catching fish out here in the winter in a tiny creek.
And you know what? I've caught all these fish on the same worm. Oh, there was a bite. One worm, all these different fish. There was a bite. Come on. Got him. Yeah, we got another shiner here. Nice. About a four inch shiner. Very similar to those other few I already caught. What is this? Fish number six? Six fish on one worm. Yeah, check out how I have that rigged. It is threaded up the hook. It is not bunched up. Let's see if we can get another one. Ooh, felt a bite there. You know, you know, catching small fish is good practice for catching big fish. It really helps with that small finesse bite. But then again, I like finesse fishing, so it helps me anyway. Ooh, there was a nibble. Missed him. I was too late. Come on, let's get a couple more. Hey fans, this is the headliner Chris Michaels and you are watching Realistic Fishing. So I'd advise you to keep it realistic. Oh. Oh, that one stole my bait. Well, we're gonna end off there. I was hoping for another fish or two, but this is a one worm trip. With one worm, I caught the mystery fish. Be sure to leave a comment below if you know what it is. I also caught five or six shiners, and I'm perfectly okay with that. You know, it started out a little slow. I wasn't sure if I was going to catch anything today, but I slowed down, I focused on this pool, and I caught a bunch of shiners. And the mystery fish. Again, leave a comment below if you know what it is. What can I say? Winter creek fishing can be fun and rewarding as long as you're not expecting to catch a monster. You don't always have to be catching huge fish to be cool. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.